Hi, um, I think I got distracted just a couple of minutes ago. Uh, this is uh, going to be for chiropractors and alternative health care practitioners. Uh, when I was in full-time practice, one of the things I'd learned from uh, John Bandy, a chiropractor from Texas, was first of all, do what you do well, and let other people do what they do well, and hire them to do what they do well. So when I went out in my own practice, I hired a behind-the-desk girl. Uh, she wasn't very good at what she did, so I got rid of her after a relatively short period of time. It was it was a transition time. I bought a practice, and and it was a good thing to keep her around for that period. But then uh, later on, uh, I took some practice management seminars, and they were all worthwhile. And there was a man named Chuck Gibson. I understand he's still out there. And one of the things he said, if you're going to have a cash practice, he said. Behind your front desk, you should find somebody who absolutely loves you and who likes money. Hire them and ask them to collect your bill, your cash. Uh, so he said, how you will know somebody loves you as a practitioner is you will look around and their whole family will have, she, they will have been the first person. And their whole family will be there. And uh, Marge, uh, I started looking around and Marge was a patient of mine. And, uh, always well dressed, uh, liked money obviously, uh, and that real beautiful Louisiana accent. And uh, I was working on her one day, kinesiology and chiropractic, and uh, I said to her, uh, "What are you doing?" She said, "Well, I don't, I don't know. I'm retiring, and I don't want to work full time. I sure would like a part time job somewhere." And I said, "Would you like to work for me?" And she said. Oh my, work for you, what would I do? Because she absolutely loved me, I know that. Um, her husband, her brother-in-law, her kids, her grandkids, her uh, mother-in-law, her mother, all came to me as, as their uh, primary health care provider, and it was all because of her. And I said, well, you behind, sit behind my desk a couple of days a week and um, greet my patients and collect my money. And she said, oh my God, that sounds like so much fun. And one day I had a new patient, and uh, the one thing I'm not good at is collecting money. I enjoy what I do, I believe in what I do, but just that aspect of practice I've never enjoyed and I've always uh, farmed it out. I've always found somebody to do it for me. And uh, the first visit was almost a little over $400 with everything. Uh, the exam and uh, the kinesiology and nutritional supplements. The person was uh, in quite a state. And I handed Marge the bill and I went into the office or into another treating room. And I could hear her, and I thought, well, this is so well done. This man really knows what he's talking about. Uh, Marge was saying to the patient, now that will be $435, like I said, in that real beautiful, lilting uh, Louisiana southern accent. And she said, now, would you like to give me a credit card, a check, or would you just love to give me cash? <laughs> it was so cute, the patient didn't know which one to give them, but it was well paid, and they were happy to pay it. Uh, if you're a, any kind of practitioner, I would say find somebody that loves you, find somebody that likes money, that believes in you, and let them collect your money. Let them to do the things you do, what you do well, you do what you love to do, and let somebody else do the other things. Uh, have fun. That's a practice management tip from www.micpeakperformance.com.